Good morning. Thank you for joining today's Oracle AI event. My name is Greg Pavlik. I'm Chief Technology Officer for the Oracle Cloud Platform. Today we're going to talk about what Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is doing to help you to apply artificial intelligence to your most important business scenarios. We'll have some guests from Forrester and NVIDIA to help share their perspective. And we'll also look at some customer success stories. So you can see how you can get started today to accelerate your business with AI. Before we get started talking about Oracle and AI, let's talk first about what customers are looking for and what they're struggling with in their AI journey. First of all, all of this starts with data. For decades, working with data has largely been about dealing with structured data. Your customer records in a CRM application, orders from your ERP database, Data was organized into databases and tables, and we did our analytics with SQL queries. Now today, the expectations are broader. The data is far more complicated. It's an endless variety of formats scattered all over your business. You need tools to find this data, to consume it, and easily make sense of it. Capabilities like natural language processing, computer vision, anomaly detection, they're now becoming as essential as SQL queries. So businesses need to use AI to analyze text in things like phone call transcripts, support tickets, emails. You need to understand what your customers are thinking, how they feel about your products, how they perceive your brand. You may want to use data sources that are noisy and unstructured, like things like social media feeds. These can be incredibly valuable for helping to detect trends and to identify customer sentiment in real time. Equally important, to understand the information that is in things like images or sound recordings, you have to have AI. That's the way that you extract the key signals from your information. So for example, if you have a scanned form, you wanna understand the data in the image and you need to be able to act upon that information. AI will allow you to derive that data from within the image. So it's not just about making predictions. AI is the key to being able to unlock the value from a whole new class of data. So we spend a lot of time working with our customers and we're constantly hearing feedback on where they're struggling today to apply AI within their business. The thing we hear repeatedly is that customers want AI that understands their business context. It's tailored to their production and operational environments. So they're not looking for simple proof as a concept. Right, so in sentiment analysis, for example, the word short could mean something like good. It could mean something good if you're talking about a queue in a retail store, but it can also mean something negative if you're talking about battery life on your phone. Your AI needs to understand this. My last name is Pavlik, but most speech engines transcribe it as public. Wouldn't it be nice if you had a speech AI engine that understood the list of all the employees in your company or your customers automatically and it was able to learn and assimilate these key details as a part of the natural life cycle of using the service. The second thing we're hearing is that customers want consistency across the stack of tools they're using for AI. This means having common and integrated tools for managing things like data labels, training your models, or reusing the inputs into training. The last thing that we're hearing is that our customers don't want to be locked into a specific framework or proprietary vendor offering. They want a truly open ecosystem. They want to use the AI tools that are the best in the industry. And that could be open source libraries. It could be third party ISVs. It could be to innovations that we've done here at Oracle. They want to be able to take advantage of the best of the industry. They also want to be able to apply AI where their data lives. So that may mean running models in your database, your lake house, um, inside your SaaS applications, or even on your phone. Well, before we get into the announcements, I'm delighted to welcome Forrester Vice President and Principal Analyst, Mike Gualtieri. Thanks, Greg. Hi, everyone. My name is Mike Gualtieri. I focus on artificial intelligence at Forrester. And I want to talk to you in the next couple of minutes about uh, the momentum uh, that we're seeing in enterprise AI. Uh, it's been a hot topic for, for multiple years, but we've now sort of crossed uh, the point where enterprises are really integrating AI into existing applications and buying new ones. 
Um, and our point of view at Forrester is that it's a fundamental technology and it's the future of every enterprise. Um, and we can see enterprises that are implementing AI are actually getting positive results, as you can see from this data. Uh, we've counted, there's hundreds of enterprise AI use cases um, that have uh, yet to be implemented. Uh, when I talk to many enterprises, they may be doing a half dozen, a dozen, but they have many, many use cases uh, on their roadmap uh, to go. And it's very common for even a single enterprise use case to yield a uh, million dollars in top or bottom line results. Um, and, and how do you find those use cases? You look in the business processes, you look in the customer uh, engagement processes, and you will find opportunities for AI throughout those. Uh, and in many cases, you'll want your development teams uh, to use an AI platform to actually infuse AI into uh, existing software, existing business applications. Um, and we asked companies, and we see in this data, what do you want to do with AI? Um, what, where, what, are the, um, uh, what are those priorities from a use case? And you can see there's automation is a big priority, and customers' experience is a big priority for AI. Perfect, because these align with general business priorities as well. Uh, and that's su another supportive argument of why AI is a uh, future of every enterprise and will be infused in all of these processes. Now, if we look at what it takes to make AI happen, there are some unique challenges to AI. AI is fundamentally software in the end. It's fundamentally software, uh, but it's, it's a unique type of software. It's more about data analysis through machine learning algorithms, but most enterprises, most enterprises that have mature application development groups uh, with the right, with an AI platform that fills in some of these gaps uh, can overcome these challenges pretty quickly. Um, and one way to do that is to use pre-trained models. And a, a model is essentially an AI, uh, uh, an AI um, nugget of intelligence that can be infused in an application and that can be uh, put behind an API. So more and more you're seeing pre-trained models that developers don't need to be data scientists to use, but they can use these, access them from the cloud as easy as calling an API and even customize them uh, with training their own data. Um, when we ask uh, what are the strategies uh, that application architecture used by the enterprises, you can see they're gonna use internal APIs. Perfect, because AI can be hidden uh, behind those APIs so developers can access it. They don't need to be uh, an AI expert. Those same APIs can be secured, uh, whether they're accessible from the cloud or on site. Again, application uh, developers can access that without having uh, to worry too much about the, uh, the security. And they also use public APIs. Uh, same thing. If they're exposing AI to the external world through these public APIs, uh, other developers who aren't AI experts can access it as well. Uh, so existing uh, development resources can build these solutions right away. If we also look at the whole software side of AI, um, and we look at uh, the top three priorities of development, software development teams, DevOps, which is also perfect because AI is, needs to become part of that DevOps chain. In fact, in the AI world, uh, we call this MLOps, and it's the intersection of DevOps uh, and machine learning uh, to deploy those models. Um, and they want to uh, build these custom applications to address this backlog. And this backlog is increasingly consists uh, of AI use cases as well. Um, so our perspective here at, Fu at, at Forrester, uh, AI is the future of every enterprise. It's a fundamental technology. It would be like saying, we don't need a website or we're not gonna use uh, cloud computing. I mean, AI uh, is fundamental and, and across every industry, uh, there's a use case. Well, thanks Mike, that, that was great. I think it really hit the point that we need AI that is designed for the enterprise. So you've heard about what customers want. Let's talk about what Oracle is doing to address those needs. You may already be familiar with our machine learning platform. It's been available for years now. OCI Data Science Service provides you with a fully managed end-to-end -end environment for building, deploying, and keeping your machine learning models healthy in production. We also have Oracle Database Machine Learning, which gives you a complete data science environment with optimized performance when you have data within your data warehouse. So we continue to expand these 
basic platform offerings. And today we're announcing a new service for data labeling with a simple consistent experience to make it easy to label your text or images and use those labels to customize your machine learning models. So we're building on that platform and extending it. And we'll talk about this more later. But the heart of today's announcement is the developer layer, a comprehensive set of pre-trained plug and play AI services. So let's spend some time and dive in and see what this means. Oracle's making AI accessible to everyone with our OCI AI services. With these new services, we're giving developers the ability to easily consume already built machine learning models to extend their apps and solutions without needing to be machine learning experts. We built these AI services starting with great models that were pre-trained on Oracle's unique and deep industry data sets. These base models can be further customized with your own data. So we give you the starting point of great models that, are, that have business context and awareness within them, and you can use our services to easily further tailor these models to work with the specific context of your own industry and your own business. It makes it really easy uh, for developers to apply machine learning technology directly to their solutions all based on simple API calls. Now you may already be familiar with Oracle's digital assistant platform, which has been in production and heavily used by, since 2018. It has pre-built skills, templates to create conversational experiences um, for your business apps that you can interface with through text, through chat, through voice interfaces. Um, developers can build on this, that can extend the library of templates and create customizations that automate their overall customer experience. Um, this is a kind of a baseline that we're building on, an example of an AI service. Um, but we're going deeper and broader across a, a range of scenarios, and we'll talk about those today. So one key area for using AI is language processing. Now that could be for analyzing customer feedback, so you can understand what customers are thinking about your products. Um, could be automating processes that are document-centric, but language processing is absolutely key for the enterprise today. Um, applying language processing models to business problems is often non-trivial. Even with all the research that goes into sophisticated models uh, for doing natural language processing, most of these language services just lack business context. The new OCI language service is trained on industry data and allows you to easily analyze unstructured text information. You can identify things like the language that's being used, um, named entities within the context of the, the document or the language that you're analyzing. So these could be things like people, places, dates, organizations, what the text is about, so topics, key phrases, and lastly, sentiment. So if we say something like, I went to a restaurant and the food service was great, or the food was great, but the service sucked, you'll see that food is identified as a key element uh, the, of the discussion and it has a positive sentiment whereas service is also identified but it has a negative sentiment so you'll see the example on the right of this slide with the this is an actual result from the service which is analyzing this the sense that we've highlighted in green so while working with text is important you also have to deal with speech so many times data you want to analyze and search just isn't, it's, it's language, but it doesn't come in the form of text. So for example, you want to analyze call center conversations. Transcribing speech today requires a significant effort if you want to do it yourself. If you want to take your customer's calls that are sitting in your customer experience app or within your own data lake or lake house, and you want to move them to a platform to analyze, it's often very slow and it's expensive to do it. So today we're introducing the OCI speech service. This service performs acoustic speech recognition and converts speech to text. So developers can use Oracle's proven acoustic and language models. Remember, we've been investing heavily in this specifically for the enterprise um, for many years to provide accurate transcription for both audio and, or video. And you don't need any data science expertise to do this. So it's easy to work with the data you have in OCI. You can process directly data in, in the object storage. So if you have data in a data lake, it's there. You don't have to move it. You can work with it directly and you can get accurate and time-stamped uh, transcriptions. With the rise 
of digital media, sensors and cameras are now everywhere. Analyzing images and video has become a key priority for enterprise businesses. Customers need a way to make sense of, of that growing amount of image and video data. So much like text and speech has become important, images and video are becoming incredibly important. So understanding the content within the image is an absolutely key AI use case. And this is an area where things like uh, identifying a crack in a tire for preemptive maintenance can save millions of dollars for a logistics business that owns uh, you know, a series of, of trucks or uh, equipment. Or you might want to analyze scan documents like receipts or orders that are just driving your core business. Um, you may have seen examples of computer vision that sound really interesting. For example, um, general purpose compute models that can distinguish easily between a chihuahua and a muffin. Um, those models are very cool, very interesting um, problems from a science perspective, but the reality is they don't actually help you with your real business. So that's why we built our computer vision service. It provides pre-trained models on real industry data. And of course, you can bring your own data to further customize it for your specific business scenarios. So the OCI vision service provides two main capabilities. The first one is for analyzing the images. So you may need to be able to tell the type of an object within an image. Is it a cat versus a dog, for example? Um, but another key scenario, detecting objects and bounding boxes inside the image that may not have been pre-labeled. You can use this then to further customize the images for your business domain by labeling the objects that were detected. And those can be used for concept that really um, specific refinement of the vision model for your own business. The second major capability that we're introducing in the OCI vision service is around document AI. This is a super powerful for basically every business in existence. You can use it to understand the scanned documents you have, scanned forms, PDFs, um, even photos that have been taken with a phone of a document. You can use it to extract text. What's cool about this is that you can not only um, use it for P things like PDFs, but you can use it in non-trivial scenarios where there's um, handwriting or where the document has been shaded or rotated in, in ways that make it difficult to, uh, for conventional systems to analyze. You can use it for document classification, so you can tell what types of documents they are based on the visual appearance um, and extracted keywords. We do language detection based on the image, so you don't have to actually see the text or extract the text to understand what languages are used within the document. And of course, we're also allowing table extraction of the data. So you can pull line items from invoices, from, P from purchase orders, from receipts, et cetera. And you can obtain these values um, for common fields in your invoices or receipts so that they can uh, be used as key value pairs in, in application processing. Bringing all these perceptual services together, here's a really clear example of the kind of value you can generate quickly. So this is a, the, the image here shows a scenario for digital asset management. Think about the times you've tried to build maybe a PowerPoint uh, presentation or put together a document. You needed a particular piece of content, could be a diagram, could be an image, but you don't know where it is within a, a massive set of data within Confluence or SharePoint. SharePoint. So with these services, what you can do is easily, without data science expertise, um, start to categorize and index a set of digital assets. So imagine taking all your Zoom recordings, for example, like this presentation, and making it searchable. Um, you could search for digital asset management and find the specific minute in the presentation where this slide was shared. Um, the graphic here on the slide shows how developers can put together a very simple flow, which can extract the information from media assets and create just that kind of solution. So the services we've talked about so far are perceptual. They allow us to solve problems that previously relied on a, a human's ability to see, to hear, and then interpret the information. However, customers in many cases want to use AI to support them in decision-making. 
So this may be making predictions or recommendations on what to do next. Common scenario here is detecting anomalies in your data. This can be critical, say, for monitoring physical assets with IoT sensors or identifying anomalies in your service operations. It turns out to be surprisingly tricky to do this well. These types of data are often messy and require careful curation to use existing techniques successfully. The OCI Anomaly Detection Service simplifies the creation of anomaly detection models that flag critical incidents resulting in faster time to detection and resolution. The heavy lifting around data preparation and model optimization is done by the service, and it can be used by teams without data science expertise. The Anomaly Detection Service is backed by more than 150 patents using our MSET2 algorithm. We combine this with other deep learning techniques. The algorithms work together to ensure high sensitivity and better false alarm avoidance than other machine learning approaches. Users can train models using their own multivariate time series data. The service provides multiple data processing techniques that account for errors and imperfections in the real world data, the input data, and that's a very common problem. The service automatically identifies and fixes data quality problems and gives you better models and better results. Now, as our last example, let's talk about your business. One of the most important things businesses want to do is predict the future. Whether it's forecasting revenues, profits, demand, or resources, things like employees, data center assets, equipment. Business forecasting is complex. It's just a difficult task. Many parameters, many dimensions that need to be accounted for. In many businesses that we talk to, forecasting is done by teams of people. They're using dozens of Excel sheets and trying to figure out the correct prediction or correct outcome for the business. Sometimes the data needed for a good forecast is even outside the business proper. You might need weather data or global event data. For example, uh, if you're looking at a Monday night football game, it will have completely changed um, predictions and forecasts around parking demand, food spend, et cetera, versus a regular Monday in the city. This is why we created the OCI forecasting service. The service allows you to forecast a variety of business metrics, including things like product demand, revenue, resource requirements, service requests. You can build multiple models. You can combine them to really maximize your forecast accuracy. The models will give you the forecast with confidence intervals and also includes explainability. What were the drivers for the forecast? What data was the most important to come to this conclusion? So let's take a look at a story of one of our customers, SS Global, and how they applied several of these services for their application. SS Global is an IoT solution provider. We work on the vehicle uptime and on-time cargo delivery with tire and vehicle monitoring. Anything that has to do with asset vehicle data, improving uh, their utilization, their transportation planning, preventing maintenance, reducing number of negative events is where we want to play. Currently, the OCI infrastructure is uh, what we have hosted on the OCI platform. Our customer is basically 24-7. We cannot shut down a minute. Oracle provides us a better solution that allow us to scale up and scale down real time based on our requirement or our workload. We have come up with the OCI anomaly detection system in order to collect historical data to develop the models. We start reading these readings from these devices or these processes real time from minute by minute basis. There's something going on or something going to happen. It returned back as a anomaly. So we utilize that a notification or alert to inform the user. So we are working on the three different areas where we can use the real time data, analyze those data and predict a behavior on that and give it to user a warning that what's going on. The delivery integration solution has significantly improved. There is no need to worry about the server load and failure. The deployment of the new tenancy is very simple. Having gained insight into the problem that may happen in the future, our clients can save time, optimize their cost, and reduce number of accidents, which will eventually benefit the entire operation. 
OCI and Omni Detection team really help us a lot to identify the correct way to create these models so we can correctly predict this uh, data for the consumers. So we talked about an, our new suite of AI services, but OCI AI is not just about developers. We have an extensive tool set for the professional data scientists, the, the type of or people within an organization that really want to build, deploy, and manage custom machine learning models. OCI Data Science is a standard data science service that acts as a platform for leveraging open source algorithms and frameworks. It's designed to enable data scientists to collaborate and work in teams. In addition, we have the Oracle Database Machine Learning, which is included with the Oracle Database. This allows you to build high performance and highly optimized machine learning models when your data is inside the Oracle Database. In many of these AI use cases, customers need to make custom models that really work for their business. And that requires bringing your organizational data, the jargon you use, the ontologies, your domain expertise together. In order to train machine learning models that are specific to your business, you need training data to be labeled. So for example, if I am training a vision model to recognize dogs, I have to correctly label the picture of dogs that are used to train my models. Today, this can be really hard. This can be a real challenge. Um, there, there may be different tools for different jobs, whether you're working with text or images, and it's really hard to do this at enterprise scale. If you need lots of people to participate in the labeling, and if you want to go further and actually automate the labeling based on the machine learning models that you've already developed. So today we're also announcing a new service for data labeling. It provides an easy and convenient way to label your data. The OCI labeling service can be used with all the AI services we discussed today, whether you're building a custom model from scratch, in our OCI data science service, or whether you're tuning a computer vision service model. The data labeling service supports labeling all kinds of data, supports imaging labeling, text labeling, document labeling, and it's designed to scale to thousands of labelers. It also supports the ability to do auto labeling so you can have your models put to work to continue to enhance um, your labels across your data assets. So let's take a look at one of our customers and how they're using this platform to improve their business. One in 20 kids face a birth defect or genetic disease head on. But I'm not sad. I'm scared. Because I'm a unicorn. I'm a superior. A giant. Children's Medical Research Institute conducts basic research on genetic disease. CMRIs is investing in technology that helps us to process large volume of data. We use the OCI data science platform to perform our analysis. That allows us to use, for example, machine learning applications, use GPUs, etc. We want to use the OCI vision and the labeling capabilities to also analyze image from microscopes. We are using the Oracle to process several types of data. In the past, what we will do is to generate uh, PDF documents. Now with Oracle Analytics, we can generate a report which is interactive. We are also using GPUs for other type of analysis. And for that, we use a tool from NVIDIA called Parabricks which allows us to do some of the analysis very quickly. One of the main issues is to perform the labeling. With Oracle labeling services, we can use the service to help us. One of the principal advantage of using Oracle Cloud is the fact that we can now improve the quality of the research because we cannot make the experiments faster. However, we can focus more on the details of the analysis. Oracle provides us with the artificial intelligence and computational platform we need to develop research to cure children's cancer. And though my disease can steal my energy, I will fight it every day.
Now, last but not least, we're doing all this the right way. Now, what do I mean by that? Our AI platform is designed to be open. With Oracle AI, you can use your favorite third party and open source tools. In OCA Data Science, we have curated Conda environments, which contain all the popular open source libraries and provided for data scientists to use on all kinds of different use cases. Um, users can also easily add others and create their own condas. So it's an open extensible environment. Second, we're working to make sure that you can use your AI, AI anywhere. Machine learning, model, machine learning model built with Oracle AI can be ported to any environment. It can be in the cloud, it can be on your phone or on an edge device. Oracle uses machine learning open standards like Onyx so that machine learning models will be portable to virtually any platform. Using these standard formats makes it easier for developers and analysts to take a model trained with Oracle AI and deploy it elsewhere, or take a model trained elsewhere and bring it to OCI. We're also partnering our, deeply to enhance the AI capabilities on OCI. Oracle's working with NVIDIA to support the latest GPUs, Intel to support high frequency Intel AMD CPU shapes, and with open source providers to support various frameworks. We're committed to an open ecosystem for machine learning. And lastly, we are committed to open source. We're announcing the upcoming open source release of our own accelerated data science library, which is part of OCI data science service. So now the ADS client library will be accessible from anywhere. This gives data scientists the ability to use the full power of our services from any platform, including their own laptop. Now, data scientists can build locally and deploy it into the cloud. Very common requirement. Let's look at an example of how we're working closely with one of our partners, NVIDIA, to bring you the best experience for your AI workloads on OCI. Oracle and NVIDIA are partnering to make it easier for developers and data scientists to bring GPU computing power to the data they need to build, train, and deploy their AI models and apps. NVIDIA is a key partner in making this happen on OCI. And today I'm joined by Ian Buck, Vice President and General Manager of NVIDIA's Accelerated Computing Group. Welcome, Ian. Thanks, Greg. And it's great to be with you today and congratulations on the launch. With the launch of the new Oracle AI portfolio, it's great to see how NVIDIA and Oracle partnership is making AI broadly accessible to every enterprise developer, data scientist, and ML engineer. Whether these customers need pre-trained AI models that can easily integrate it in, as is into enterprise applications to deliver real-time insights, or they need to customize the models for their specific use cases, these AI services on OCI, combined with NVIDIA's accelerated computing, lets developers and data scientists do their job better, easier, and faster. Yeah, and based on this strong customer demand, we've enabled all of our AI and data science services to work natively with NVIDIA GPUs. The Oracle AI and data science services allow data scientists and developers to use NVIDIA GPUs to accelerate every step in the ML lifecycle, from model building and notebook sessions to model training and jobs, real-time inferencing, and operational deployment. That's a very compelling lineup. And I love that OCI Data Science leverages Rapids, a suite of open source software libraries built on CUDA XAI, giving developers the freedom to execute end-to-end -end data scientists and analytics pipelines entirely on GPUs. With Rapids, data scientists can train classical algorithms like random forest or SVMs on GPUs much faster than on CPU instances. These same Rapids environment can be used uh, for building training and deploying ML models. And Rapids is freely available from the NGC catalog, a hub of GPU optimized AI and high performance computing and data analytics software that simplifies and accelerates end end workflows. Well, our joint customers are doing some real cutting edge work across a number of industries. A great example is the Children's Medical Research Institute. The CMRI is doing genomic sequencing matching analysis, which is both data and compute intensive using OCI services that work with NVIDIA's software stack for DNA sequencing, which lets them do that work very quickly and very efficiently. CMRI is also applying machine learning to process and analyze microscopy images of cells, getting diagnoses back faster to the treating physicians. That's right. They actually reduced their simulation times from one month down to five days. This allows researchers and doctors to get to insights faster whether it's developing the next vaccine or detecting cancer earlier to provide the right treatments. 
These customer examples really validate our commitment to the difference together with OCI's new enterprise AI services. Well, thanks so much, Ian. To summarize, let me show you how one of our internal SaaS teams, NetSuite, is using Oracle AI to enhance their own customer experience. As an independent software vendor, NetSuite supports the little business, the middle business, and both the old and new businesses. Where innovation and new AI ML technology is typically reserved for large enterprises with unlimited resources, NetSuite is partnering with OCI to bring the best in class AI technologies to SMB customers. We're leveraging OCI language services, OCI vision services, and OCI anomaly detection to deliver features such as expense report automation, invoice to vendor bill automation, sales forecasting, and more. Gone are the days our SMB customers need to individually hire data scientists and engineers on their teams. By using these out of the box algorithms developed by OCI, we can significantly cut down both the time and resources needed to leverage AI ML technology. But if off the shelf AI ML technology is not for you, NetSuite is also leveraging OCI's data science service platform. Without having to build an infrastructure from scratch, we can focus on developing actual AI ML features such as our adaptive security anomaly detection model using NVIDIA's GPUs and deploy to production in less than six months. Today, NetSuite's 26,000 SMB customer base offers unparalleled industry and vertical ex expertise leveraging the DSS platform offered on OCI. NetSuite partnered with OCI is innovating for our customers with unique industry intelligence other independent software vendors should consider as well. If you want to learn more, just go to oracle.com slash AI and try out these new services.